God is good, and all the time. Beloved, on this 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, I propose for our reflection the theme, Everyone a Missionary. Everyone a Missionary. Salvation is a shared project. Yes, it is ultimately the free and exclusive gift of God. But God uses even humans as his loving instruments in his work of saving humanity. And to this, all of us have been called to play a necessary part not for our selfish, mundane gains, but for the glory of God, which is our proper goal in life. Jesus came into the world to do the Father's will. He didn't claim to do it all. So he taught his disciples by personal example doing the missionary work of salvation, and also by sending them out to take personal responsibility for their mission. Sending them out in Paris and instructing them to live with families itself is a teaching moment for the disciples to learn that missionary work is a shared responsibility and evangelization begins at the home with the family. They are to trust in the God of the mission because the mission is not theirs. So they are not to take food and other material belongings except some necessary items. The expectation is that the families with whom they will be living will also play their part of the mission not only by listening to the word, but also by providing hospitality. Everyone is a missionary, and we are all part of God's salvation project, necessary parts. In the first reading, the context is Israel as a divided nation, the north and the south, following the death of Solomon, the wise king. Now, the northern kingdom has become dissident and is on the path to ruin because they do not follow the covenant of God, especially regarding social justice. Then God intervenes to save his children from destruction. He does so by calling an ordinary shepherd and a sycamore tree dresser in the person of Amos, not from the north, but from the south, to go and prophesy. Amos, who has no qualifications to be a prophet, and who does not even come from the north, accepts to be part of God's own design, the saving mission. On the other hand, a Messiah who was the priest in the north and also chaplain to the northern king is not ready to be part of this saving project. Instead, he works all out to sabotage God's design. In the second reading, Paul is giving thanks to God for the gift of salvation the mysterious saving plan of God, which is a shared project of the Trinity. In Jesus Christ, the Son, the Father blesses us with all spiritual gifts through the sealing of the Holy Spirit. And all of us, as children of God, have been called to share in this saving mystery by a life of holiness following the example of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Beloved, the point is that no one is a spectator to the work of salvation. 
from the beginning of creation, God has called each one of us to participate in his own gift of salvation, not as passive recipients, but as active, loving instruments of God. Like Amos and the disciples, we may not have any qualifications, yet with Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we have got every grace to be missionaries of holiness, healing, and reconciliation. And this begins at the home. Then we become God's powerful messengers, sending God's will abroad. In the bulletin of today, I made references to how God uses ordinary people like parents, godparents, grandparents, teachers, catechists, all as his loving and powerful instruments to reach to our hearts, to our souls. If you have not read that already, I recommend it for your reading. Friend, everyone is a missionary. No one is exempt. Do not underestimate anyone, not even yourself, because you are a special, loving, chosen instrument of God for salvation. God is good. And all the time.